Hey there Kiwi Crew, how's it going? KB here. It is good to have another live stream finally. Work week has started, or should I say the work period after lockdown has started up again and there is a lot going on. So I haven't really been able to do many uploads. Um, I have been trying to battle against the requirements of life to try and get the live streams and videos up. I still have a huge, huge stockpile of videos to create, but finding the time is a challenge. Um, so, I have in front of me here the new DX Stadium that I got. Um, this stadium makes a heck of a lot of noise, so if I do videos today, um, whether we turn the motor on or not is going to be the, at the discretion of the viewer. So if you guys want to hear, um, or you want to see all the action that the stadium can provide, then I will quite happily turn on the motor. But other than that, it's really, really crunchy. And I did a review video the other day of this motor, or of this stadium, and it made quite a lot of noise. I did try to filter out the sound, but it's a little hard. Um, because I have, uh, what do you call it, webcam audio at the moment, because my headset still doesn't seem to want to work. So I need to get a digital headset over a analog one so that we can actually get proper sound. Um, just to give you an example of what the stadium sounds like when it is running, if you haven't heard it, this is the noise you get from it. So as you can see, it makes a lot of noise. I'm in the process of trying to brighten it. I think I need to get some, uh, what is it, engineering grease. Uh, I've tried using modeling grease and lubricant oils, but unfortunately, the uh, those oils and stuff don't tend to provide enough resistance to the gears in order to give you a good um, sound compression. So the noise is at full ball and I can't quiet in it yet. If I can get some foam, sort of like beading foam or carpet foam, I'll be able to put that in there I think and cushion the noise just a little bit. I did used to have some but I moved house a few months ago and I basically threw it out because it was no longer necessary. And also, I've also got to try and fix this. There is a video I saw from Kivo that shows you how to repair this, so I'm going to need to do a video at some point on fixing this launcher because at the moment the cord is jammed and I can't launch. So that one's pretty much stuffed for the time being. I'm going to have to rely heavily on my sword launcher this is going to be the one that I'm going to have to do all of my battle stuff with. So when I launch, there will be a delay now um, because that other launcher is toast. And before that, I was using the uh, light launchers on my Brooks clone or Brooks uh, grip build, but the um, those launchers have basically gone as well. So I'm running out of launchers, and with lockdown stuff in effect, it makes hard to get stuff into the country. So I'm kind of stuck with what I got. All right, so, <clears throat> battle-wise, what should we use today? I think we should try out some of the Slingshot Beyblades in here and see if they do any good. But first, I think we'll try some of the, some of the Evolution Beyblades. So, we're gonna find the one that just fell. Ah, got it. All right, so. I'll need to get my little spinner thingy so we can decide the match set up. Here's my spinner thingy. Put that on the top of the stadium. All the other days over there. All right, let's see. Get this into frame. Is it gonna work? Let's see. Where is the frame? Oh, it may not. Okay, so I'll spin this and we'll see what we get. And we are going for burst finishes only for this match. First one is burst only. So let's go. Let's go Kanox versus Surprise and Requiem. I do have some 
uh, what is it, Super King Beyblades coming, but at the moment they're stuck in another country because of our lockdowns. I don't think they can actually come in for a while, so we might be waiting for a bit. So I will say thank you to you guys for uh, still committing to my channel, even though I haven't really punched out any new Beyblade products recently. Okay, here we go. Round one, three, two, one, go. So there's our Kanox and our Spryzen. There is a potential chance these Beyblades might actually get stuck on the uh, discs in the middle there because they're not moving. So let's see how this appears. It appears they do get stuck without that spinning thing. If we turn on the noise, it'll actually be too loud and you may not even be able to hear me. So I don't think I've got any muffling things on there yet at the moment, so it'll make things interesting. Um, I think for the purpose of getting some effective battles in though, we might have to take the DX Stadium out of the picture and bring in the Evolution Stadium. It's a brief time. Without the middle plate spinning around, the stadium is just going to get in the way of the battles. I have here and stuff stuck to the stadium tape. There we go. Make sure this goes into frame. All right, there we go. There we go. Let's put this here and then there. <coughs> Alright, so we'll get all these Evolution Beyblades out of the stadium so that they're not taking up valuable space. Put some random dirt in there. Okay. So I'll do that round with Spryzen and Kanox again because with that stadium not moving, they got stuck. Three, two, one, go. is a stamina type, but Spryzen still won that. Uh -huh. Alright, so round one, two, Spryzen. Although Kanox did actually almost burst there. Three, two, one, go. It's a burst only match, so the matches just keep going until one of the Beyblades bursts. And there goes Kanox. So that was the end of him, he's done. Alright, so we'll keep Spryzen off to the side. She's held on. Alright, let's go. Let's be different. Let's go Bulkish versus Phantasmus. Let's see which one of those two wins. Alright, let's spin our little dial. So for this match, it's going to be standard battles. All right, so standard point battles to the win. So whichever one gets to two points is going to be the match winner. Three, two, one. There goes Volkish. And three, two, one. There goes Fantasmus. I'm not holding too many hopes for Fantasmus. It's just Slightly pathetic Beyblade, but, and then of course against the Titan power of Volkish, it virtually has no chance. Because Volkish is almost impossible to take down. It doesn't really burst that often either, so that's where another difficulty comes in. And there we go, round one for Volkish. Reload the Strawed Launcher, sword launcher. Three, two, one, go. Phantasmus in the ring out. <clears throat> Phantasmus is currently rocking the 
I think it's like a beak looking driver. Pretty much both these Beyblades are in a defensive setup at the moment, so it's just defense versus defense. And Bolkesh for win two. So that's Phantasmus out, and Bolkesh stays on. Alright, let's try another one. Let's go. Let's go Luminor versus Beltric V3. Let's really mix it up a bit. Make it very interesting. Because Beltric is not going to last, I don't think. And we'll spin our dial. What's it going to be? What's our match? And we have standard battles. Okay, so first of two points it is. Send Luminor in there first. Three, two, one, go. Whoop. Alright, that was a bad launch. That was a very bad launch. Let's try and get Luminor back out from the side. Stuck in the pocket. Luminor doesn't seem to like the sword launcher very much. Three, two, one, go. Oh, nope. Hates the sword launcher. Okay then. I'll have to launch Luminor from the light string launcher because it doesn't want to launch from the sword launcher very well and it seems to just throw itself into the wall. I'm more likely going to break the sword launcher trying to launch him from there. So we'll use Valtriac on the sword launcher. Hey viewer, welcome to the stream. How's your day going? Three, two, one, get you. Luminor and Valtriac. <laughs> wow, that was probably one of the most energetic battles I've seen in a while. Uh, Luminor just basically totaled Valtric V3 and said, no, that's not going to happen, you're out. Okay, so, let's move on to round two. Three, two, one, go. I bursted Valtric. I bursted Valtric. Okay. That was not a legitimate win. That was an unfortunate mishap, and he basically detonated when I launched him. So, we'll need to do that one again. Because we don't have a winner. Alright. Let's do that round again. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Now we're going to win the battle. Who's going to win? I don't feel too confident in V3. I think Luminor is going to take it. Whoa, that was actually Valtriac there. Very, very close. But Valtriac had a quarter spin on Luminor, so we actually saw a win there. Could be interesting. So it's one for one now. Okay, three, two, one, go shoot. And go. Okay, who's gonna get the final point? Only one blade blade coming out. Oh man, it is smashing Beltriac. Okay, there we go. Beltriac's gone. Lunor wins. I'm actually surprised at how that battle went. Beltriac didn't even get a single movement on his uh on his slopes. But then again, this Valtriac, this gold sort of Asia Cup themed Valtriac V3 is actually a lot stronger than the blue one that you normally get. I think the slopes on it are slightly heavier, slightly steeper. And the Luanor, if you can see, I can do this in the camera, um, it had just a little bit of a turn, so it was almost a burst. So Valtteri V3 is out, Luminor stays on. Alright, let's try two uh, unlikely couple or pairs as well. We'll try out Noctimus versus uh, Fafnir. So Fafnir V3 and Noctimus in 3. So we'll put Fafnir in there first, being a stamina type. 
can last longer, so we need the attack type to come in at full power. Three, two, one, go shoot. There we go, Noctimus! Okay, who's gonna win this? Noctimus is a notoriously aggressive but obviously a little too aggressive. Wipe himself out in no time. But at the same time, I also forgot to spin the dial, so we need to find out what battle we're gonna do. So I technically can't count that last one we did. So we're looking at first only finishes. So if the last match had actually counted, and I'd actually done it right, that would have been the end of Noctimus. But I didn't spin the dial, so can't really count it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go shoot. Lucky for Noctimus, it's only a burst finish match, otherwise that would have been a point. I'm going to try and get Fafnir back together, he's kind of misbehaving at the moment. Where is his locks? There we go. Alright, it's in. Here we go, 3, 2, 1, go shoot! First only match, so one of these guys. Ooh, Fafnir scored another hit on Noctimus, but luckily for him, it wasn't a burst, so he's still got a chance to kill him back. Three, two, one, go shoot! Oh, there we go. That's the burst we were looking for. Fafnir has totaled Noctimus. Unbelievable, especially since Noctimus is a attack type. The uh, stamina type overcame him. So, Fafnir goes on, he just bursted there at the end. Oop, Fafnir stays on, he's going to move on to join the others. Okay, so our next pairing, let's go Cognite versus Relentless, Regulus, Shelter Regulus versus Cognite, these two will be our next Beyblades, so let's spin our dial, what is our battle, and the battle is going to be, Oh, it's jammed between the two, so we'll try again. And it looks like it's going to be... Standard Battles. Alright, so first two points. <clears throat> Here we go. Shelter Regulus, 3, 2, 1, go. And knocked him out. Okay, so first finish will end this instantly and the match will be over. A ring out or survivor finish and we'll move on to a round two. Oh wow, Cognite got the upper hand on Regulus, so one point for Cognite. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Regulus is seriously off balance. There we go, another win for Cognite. So Regulus is out, and Cognite stays on for the next part of it. All right, we're down to these guys. <clears throat> so we have Kalazar versus Wyvern. What kind of battle type are we gonna see? Gonna be burst only. All right, here we go. Burst only wins. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Both Beyblades are in the middle now, so stamina's run down 
significantly. Oh, look at that. Another unlikely win. Okay, three, two, one, go. Unlikely win, but no burst. The battle goes on. One of these guys has got to burst for us to move forward. But we'll put it down to a thing of five attempts. If neither of them bursts in five attempts, we will move the dial into standard battles. Three, two, one, go. Because otherwise, we could be here all day. Three, two, one, go. Right, angle the tank. Oh, look at that. A ring out. Still no burst. So that's attempt three. Three, two, one, go. If we don't get a burst out of this round, that'll be round attempt four, and then we'll have one more, and then we will have to base it on a single two point win. Nope, no burst. Three, two, one, good. Still no burst. Okay, so that means that we're going to need to now go to solo battles in order to win this. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> By solo battles, I mean single points. Shoot. Normal battles. So now it'll just be the first to two points. Seeing, and there is a chance for Mike to burst somewhere between, but burst is not the conditions for winning now. Okay, so one point to Kelazar. Three, two, one. Two. And here we go. Hey, viewer, welcome to the stream. How's it going? All right, so one more point for Kelazar, and Wyvern is gone, Burger. Alright, there you go. So Kelazar wins and Wyburn is out. So we'll put him in the discount pile. So now we effectively have Kelazar in the mix. We've got Wyburn. We've got Luinor. Oops, he's turned away. We've got uh, Bulkish. Ah, oh, sorry. Spryzen, Kelazar, um, Fafnir, Bulkish, Luinor, and Cognite. Alright, so those are the ones we have left. So let's try out two left spinners. We'll go Bolkish versus Luminor. And we'll do an elimination round with those two to see who will move forward. Let's see what our dial has to say. What is our match going to be? What are the conditions? It's going to be burst win. Okay, so we'll do this battle until one of them bursts. And if they don't do that within five rounds, we will move to doing normal points until one of them wins. Three, two, one, go. So there's Bolkish. Three, two, one, go. And there's Luanor. Both pretty powerful bays. One's extremely good at defense and one's very heavy at team. Okay, we didn't see a burst there. Lunor did slide slightly on his slopes, but there was still no burst. 
so we will move on to the next round. Attempt number two. Three, two, one, go. They're not making contact, and Luanor can really only do heavy damage when he is at his maximum revolutions. And he is slowly losing stamina, so that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Well, attempt number two has failed, so Luanor is not scoring any points, and neither is Bolkesh. Alright, three, two, one, go. Come on, Lunor, get some points in there. Win us a burst finish win. Nope, no win there either. Okay. Try for attempt number three. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Okay, and attempt number three ended with a ring out finish. Still no best. And we'll go to our next round. Attempt number four. Three, two, one, go. Come on, we need a burst. <clears throat> Strong hits, no burst. And there we go. Alright, one more. One more in this attempt. And if we don't get a burst, we're going to have to do normal points to win. Three, two, one, go. And go. Here we go, here we go. Get in there, Luminor, cause some damage. <clears throat> okay, we have no win, so we go back to normal point scoring now. It'll be first two, and that Beyblade will be the winner. Three, two, one, go. And go. Alright, there is a likely chance that Bulkish is going to take this with a clean sweep. Luno, I don't think he's going to have any chance at all. Just can't get through that defense of Bulkish. So round one is Volkish. Hey viewer, welcome to the stream. How is it going? The best blader. Hey man, how are you? Good morning, good morning. Alright, three, two, one, go. And... Okay, so this is probably going to end like it did with the first one. Bulkish is going to take the win, and Luminor is just going to go straight into the discard pile because you just can't beat Bulkish. Every one of those hits from Bulkish is taking away a huge chunk of Luminor's stamina. Zion, hey, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Okay, guys, that's the end of Luminor. So Bulkish is going to hold on. Our next matchup, let's try Spryzen versus Kalazar. So I'll spin our dial and we'll see what kind of battle format we are going to see. And our battle format is standard battles. Okay, so first to two points is going to win this match. Oops, we got the launcher in left mode. We need it in right. Three, two, one, go. Normal battles. Oh, that was beautiful. What a takedown. Absolutely destroyed Spryzen. 
was almost like Kalazar was alive for a second there, just chasing Spryzen around the stadium, trying to find an opportunity to smash him apart. 3, 2, 1, go. That was brutal. This could go any way now. Kalazar could take the win or Spryzen could, but I think Spryzen might not because he is fatiguing and he's down. Okay guys, so that is the end of Spryzen. So Kalazar stays on. We're now down to Fafnir and Cognite. So let's see who wins from this one. And the spinner says... gonna be burst win only okay burst win only this could be interesting we'll put these two Beyblades up against each other so let's see how this fares the best blader I'd be using the uh, DX stadium in this video that I have now acquired but if I used it I think you guys would not be able to hear me because I haven't figured out a way to quieten it yet so that's still a work in progress Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Uh, Krog and I didn't even make it into the battle. That's a shame. The DX Stadium would give us a lot more action as well because the Beyblades get like a small power up and sort of like a better performance in the stadium from the DX. Three, two, one, go shoot. No burst. A ring out, but no burst. This Fafnir is a tank. Okay, three, two, one, go shoot. Oops, that was a bad launch. Fell off the launch. Oh, I let go of the string too soon. Three, two, one, go shoot. There we go. Total him. That's the end of Cognite. Fafnir just wrecked him. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Not so much. I think we just saw the end of Cognite. So, Cognite's gone. We now have three remaining Beyblades. So, now we've gotta fight it out and see which one is the best. So, I know Bolkish is gonna take forever to take down. Or if it's even possible to take him down. We now have three Beyblades, so we're gonna figure out which one to go up against what. What I think I'll do is I'll keep Fafnir, and I'll put Bolkish up against Kalazar. Let's see what the battle format's gonna be. Ta-da! Okay, so it's burst only, so this could be interesting. Don't worry, bladers, I have a surprise at the end of this battle. So, stay tuned. Three, two, one, go shoot! And go shoot! Let's see if we can get a burst. Uh, break through that defense. Not when he burns up all his energy going around the stadium, he can't. Oh, this could be close. Oh, Bolkish just got the win there at the end. That was mighty close. Could have been Kalazar. It'd be nice if it's Kalazar, because then we have a Beyblade that can actually beat Bolkish. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. I'll try for an angled attack. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Let's see if an angled attack gets in the wounds. <laughs> Well, 
that's annoying. I was hoping for a flower pattern. Alright, which way is it gonna go? Ah, Bulkish for a win again. I think this will take a while, Bulkish is a tank. Yeah, well, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do what I normally do with this dial thing. I run it up to five matches, or five, um, five attempts, and if there's no burst by five attempts, I back it off to the first two. Three, two, one, go. And go. Alright, let's get the in there. Come on, Kalazar. Kalazar is looking very, very weak, so I don't think he's going to make it through. No bulkish for the win. Alright, so. So. We know Kalazar can't beat him in that mode, so we're gonna have to go to standard battles now and see if we can win. Three, two, one, go shoot. Standard battles. Three, two, one, go shoot. Sliding shot. Let's see if that weakens Bulkish. Well, he certainly can't take the middle now because Kalazar's got the center. Man, that's a stinker, so there you go. Bokish gets that point. One more, and we unfortunately say goodbye to Jalazar. Three, two, one, go. Two. And go. Yeah, Bokish is too strong. I think as a Beyblade, it was. Well, it's well. It's de designed well, but I think the concept of. Trying to battle against it is impossible. I'm surprised that Bulkish actually hasn't been banned from tournaments because the only way that you can actually beat it is to get a ring out finish because you can't burst it and it can survive against just about every Beyblade. Alright, so that is the end of Kalazar. And off this Hunter tip. It's a bit dirty. Alright, Kalazar is gone. So that leaves two Beyblades. We have Bulkish and we have Fafnir. Three, two, one. Let's spin down dial. Let's see what happens. Standard battles. Okay. This is going to be interesting. So we've got standard battles. Fafnir and Volkish, two left spinning Beyblades, so one will be able to nerf the other, and vice versa, because they both spin the same way. Three, two, one, go. And just tore my launcher apart. So we're going to need to find the parts and put this back together. Um, Volkish just tore the launcher apart. To pieces. We did see a burst there on Fafnir, but I won't count that. Um, where is the plastic thing from my launcher? Saw it shoot off somewhere. That actually hurt. No, it hit my hand and it hurt. Hopefully, we can find this part because if we don't. I can't use this launcher anymore. Or at least until I find the plastic thing. Sure, go this way. Gotta be here somewhere. <sighs> way to go, way to go.
that's real annoying because that plastic piece was actually the best piece in the launcher the other ones that I have are all kind of broken so it's not there it's not there and it's definitely not still attached shot off and went where Okay, I might actually have to source another one from my parts box because that has definitely disappeared on us. I have no idea where it's gone. Kind of like the, the uh, ogre layer. That ogre layer is gone as well because it shot off into cyberspace and I have no idea where it is. Alright, bear with me for a second. I'm going to try and find a launcher that still has one of those things attached to it. This one here. Okay, we have found what we needed. This little thing here shot out of my uh, launcher grip, so without that I can't actually launch it. The sword launcher, so if I put this in here, place the one that was lost, this back into place, All right, we should be good now. We should be golden. Cool, let's try this again. <clears throat> Hopefully Bulkish doesn't end up destroying the launcher like he did before. We really don't want two accounts of that. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. And go. Bulkish is going to beat Batman. There you go, Bulkish, for round one. Fafnir didn't have a chance. Oops, the sword launcher cord was upside down. Okay, three, two, one, go. doesn't help the Fafnir that it has the wrong driver, it's got Revolve on it. And there we go, so Fafnir lost, so he's out. So now it's prime time. Now we have a guest contender to face a Bogish. Relentless! Let's try out Relentless against Bogish. Oh look! I found it! <laughs> it was right next to my Format decider. New Zealand Mapper and Gamer, hello, how are you, my friend? Alright, let's find out how this battle's gonna pan out. Which format should we use? Oh, burst finish win. Okay, this should be interesting. This should be very interesting. Um Right. Relentless versus Bulkish. Ha! <laughs> nah, that's okay, friend. Three, two, one, go. Alright, Relentless, don't let us down. And go shoot. Okay, can Relentless get in the power hits to knock down Bulkish? 
He is a lot heavier than Bokesh, but I don't know. It's very hard to say how this will go. But it needs to end with a burst. Five attempts, and if nothing happens, we go back to normal battle formats, and it's the first to two. Ooh, Bokesh. Bokesh for the first win there, but it's not a burst, so we don't count it. Not until we get to five attempts. Three, two, one, go. Alright, three, two, one, go. Come on, Relentless, get in there and destroy him. Oh, this is unbalanced hit. That is the signature move of this Beyblade. Once you knock her off balance, or knock it off balance, it comes in with some seriously heavy hits. Oh no, second attempt and still no win. Okish does have a ball driver. Yeah, so it means that he can roll around. He can basically absorb the hits and move out of the way. 3, 2, 1, good shoot, but at the same time it also means it's a great weakness because you get a heavy hitting Beyblade, you get a ring out all the time. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Okay, how's this gonna go? Volkish is actually getting underneath Relentless's energy layer, so that's probably where he's getting the advantage here. And Bulkish for a second win. That is attempt number three. Still no win. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, Relentless is getting pulverized. I should say, should I say, Bulkish is getting pulverized. Relentless looks like he might win. Come on. Ah, Bulkish still gets the win. Okay, attempt number four. We're two away from normal points format. So, how did you find that Moragna M5? Uh, Moragna M5, I found that by chance in, I think it was the warehouse. It was behind, it was at the very back of the um, product line on the shelf. I kind of got super lucky with it. How is Bulkish deflecting all around? <laughs> I do not know. Three, two, one, go. I'd say it's down to the, like, it's the rollerball driver. Three, two, one, get shoot. Rollerball driver basically. Oh. Wow! That was strong. So that's attempt five, and still no win. Okay, now we're going back to normal attacks. If we're lucky, and I can get a good enough hit or a good enough launch, Volkish will lose just by getting knocked out of the ring. Three, two, one, go. Alright, Relentless. Let's show your power. Go! There we go. Relentless with the first, first point. Alright, we seem to be having some skipping action in the launcher, so I'm just gonna try and dismantle it and try and repair it very quickly it's pretty rare to find newer rise and turbo base yeah um that's why i got super lucky when i found the turbo spryzen um because i don't think i've seen a single one of them on the shelf and turbo is the old season now and yet there is a turbo spryzen and then, of course, there was the Cabeus. Um, as a Cabeus was on the shelf in the warehouse, I was contemplating d buying it before lockdown when it was there, but I never did. And I'm kind of regretting it now because it may not be there when I go back. 
All right, yeah, that that bit that I put in before is actually crap because the edges are wearing off. So I'll go back to the original original cog that was in the launcher before I threw it across the room, and we should have a normally working launcher again. But at least Relentless is still one point up. At one point, that means that we've got a chance to win this with Relentless because Volkish would have to get a burst or another point to catch up. And if we're lucky, if we are very, very lucky, Volkish might actually lose by getting another ring out. I saw at Kmart Fafnir 2-pack, Moragna 2-pack, and Engard 2-pack. And I'm not sure... I'm not sure if it's back there now. Ah, oh, okay. Well, our, came, our Kmart's up here in Wellington. Trash. Um, we got... We had, I think, a f two years ago or so, we had a new Kmart open up in the Hutt Valley. Uh, on day one, they had all the stock you could want. Heaps of Beyblades, heaps of other stuff. And then, as time progressed, they got worse and worse and worse. And then, that was the end of the you know, good Beyblades on the shelf. It was basically over after that. And I was like, well, this is trash. Like, where's all the good Beyblades? And if you go to the Party Rule one, the Beyblade packets are either ripped open and there's nothing in there, or they just haven't stocked the shelves. Three, two, one, go. All right, now we need Relentless to get another hammering hit. And let's go. Oh, you see that? Relentless came back from the grave, but unfortunately that kind of injury is going to severely damage his stamina. Ah, that's a shame, Best Blader. Well, hopefully you get to see most of the action. It doesn't break down on you when you're trying to see the fun stuff. Oh, okay, this is going to be tight now. So Bulkish has scored a point. If Relentless hadn't hit that wall... We might have actually survived. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so Bolkish is effectively the arch enemy of Relentless. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Relentless. Get the win. <laughs> Darn it, we didn't get a ring out on him. This could be it for Relentless. This could be the end. No! Darn it! Okay, well there we go. Volkish is still able to beat Relentless. We tried, and we almost bursted, which is a shame. Relentless almost lost that from a burst finish. It was super, super close, but it didn't happen. There was a new app update in the Beyblade Burst app. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, I think it was to uh, give you the app, uh, give you the opportunity to use like uh, Prime Apocalypse and stuff. Okay, what was I gonna do? All right, that's right. I was gonna show you guys something that I promised to show. So that battle totally tanked. Um, Relentless tried, but it wasn't gonna work. A real shame because I thought I had him. Maybe the version 2 Relentless will destroy him, but this version, we had no such luck. <laughs> okay, this is what I was going to do. And this is what I was going to show. So, as you guys know, this is the first version of Relentless that I created. So he had the, that was his energy layer, which as you can see is starting to take a fair bit of damage. And then he had the weight disc. I changed this to number two. It was six, but it wasn't nearly as effective. So now he's got two and a translucent vortex. And then there was the reboot driver. So what I have done, is I have come up with the concept idea of the version two of Relentless. So this is Relentless V2. 
So on here, as opposed to the previous Relentless, which is here, the previous Relentless, if I can get him in frame, there we go. The previous Relentless had the gliding blade over here. So the gliding blade basically led you to the hammer, which is over here. And this would basically act as a guide. Then the Beyblade would spin around and hit the hammer and get knocked around in the stadium. So in this version, the one up here, the gliding blade is still there, but the hammer, which is over here, is going to be a lot more protruded. So this area here is like two extension arms, and this blade here will be made of metal. So it'll stick out a lot further from the Beyblade, so when you actually hit the opponent Beyblade, it's going to basically be getting smashed by a small hammer. So if you imagine a Beyblade spinning in a stadium and then you picked up a real hammer and smashed it into the Beyblade, that's basically what this mode is going to do. So this Beyblade hammer will be called a Siege Hammer. So this is going to be relent or Siege Hammer Relentless. So this one here, the V1 is called, uh, what was it, Hammer Strike Relentless. And this one here is going to be Siege Hammer Relentless. And hopefully, if we're lucky, the Siege Hammer Relentless will be so strong, it'll end Bolkesh. Because so far, there is now a rivaling difference between these two bays. Relentless can beat just about anyone else, but not Bolkesh. Bolkesh is just too damn strong. And if he does face Bolkesh, it's either a hit and miss. And that's more or less the way the battles go. I either kill Bolkesh with a burst, with a stamina win, or it ends up being a very, very tight match. So this was a concept also that I had for potentially a version three. <laughs> yeah, Boa versus Kiwi pretty much. Uh, this is a version three that I was gonna work on. So eventually once I've done the version two over here, oh, that one I showed you, uh, version two is gonna have a blade or guide blade that sticks out and the hammer that sticks out. So basically the guide blade will probably be more protruded at the end. So this part down here, I'm gonna have to advance so that it curves out further. And then this one will still hit it pretty nasty. So I do have some concept designs there of what I will, do as a Beyblade or V2. I think I also have a drawing somewhere I did of a Beyblade that I was working on for Michelle. If I can find it. <laughs> Here's a trip down memory lane. This was the original concept for my channel art. If I can find it, I just lost it. Ah, there it is. So this was the original concept of my channel art. So that's originally what I had as the channel art. And then of course my wife adapted it and created the one that I have now. And then I animated it and got it to the point where it is. Because originally it was pencil drawn and I just took a photo and then I adapted it with some artwork in 3D paint. Um, I'm gonna see if I have a photo of the one that I was going to do for my friend. I think it's somewhere nearby. Hopefully. Oh, running over my power cord. I think it's in this pile of stuff over here. I'll just have a look. I got a little clipboard here that I draw all my designs on. Should be amongst all of this. If we're lucky. Maybe not. Okay, no, I've kind of lost it, I think, but yeah, it's a pretty neat design. If I ever find it, I'll post it up on my, uh, what do you call it? Page thingy majigger. Oh, by the way, while I've got you guys here, um, if you want to see what I'm up to outside the YouTube channel, um, I have an Instagram account under Kiwi Blader, and I also have a Facebook page for my channel now. I just set those up within the last week, so they are active now, which is neat because now I can actually commune with you guys outside of the channel 
and show you what it is that I'm up to. I'll just try and see if I can get a link here to the channel and then I can share it with you guys. Okay, so I did originally try to, you know, instate the whole privacy settings things on Facebook, but it didn't really work. So here is my channel for Facebook. That's the uh, Facebook channel account. If you go to that one, that is where you'll find, uh, I'll put all my uploads and stuff for it there. And I'll also put up stuff on the Instagram account which I think is under the same name. I'll just have to find my phone to confirm that. It's on the Instagram account. I can take photos of what I'm up to, uh, what projects I'm working on, uh, photos from my drawings and stuff like that. You guys will be able to see what I'm up to and what projects I'm working on, as well as video um, productions and stuff like that. So yeah. Having all those channels and benefits will, or all those extra things will help out a heck of a lot. So my Instagram account is, yeah. So if you go on to Instagram, I'll just type it here, Instagram, Instagram is Kiwi. Dot later. So yeah, if you go onto Instagram, those are the channels that you'll have available to me. So I've got my Facebook account up there for Kiwi Blader, and then the Insta Instagram account is of the same name, just Kiwi Dot Blader. And you'll find me there, and you'll be able to see all of the things I'm up to. I think I do also have a TikTok account, so you can also find that if you use the TikTok app. I'm on that. Uh, so I've tried to reach out to as many mediums or medias as I can to try and get a good sort of, you know, outreach to the community. Okay, guys, I think I'll leave today's live stream here. Um, it was good to hang out with you guys and it was nice to see how you guys are getting on and all that. Hopefully you're all doing well. Um, and... Hopefully soon enough I'll be able to get some new epoxy resin. At the moment I'm having a bit of trouble trying to get hold of some, which is holding up a lot of my projects because I can't do any casting without the epoxy resin. And also the new Super King Bays that I'm waiting on are still stuck over in the Philippines. But when our borders finally open, um, we'll be able to get those products in and it'll be happy days. So I'm going to say a big thank you to you guys for still sticking with me, even though I haven't um, been able to produce any videos on new products, even though a lot of the other YouTubers are miles ahead. All right, guys. So thanks for coming to see my videos today. Um, thanks for showing up, even if you came in at a later point. That still is not a problem for me. It's just good to have you guys show up in general. Yes, I'll, I'll do my best to enjoy the day. Um, I'm going to go off and try a few things. I just downloaded a new game on my Switch, so I'm going to give that a spin and see how that goes. And then I've got a training thing with my brother later and some more video editing to try and get done. Okay, guys, until next time, stay safe. Uh, keep your blade, Beyblade collections growing. And I'll see you either in a new video that I'll put up or in my next live stream. But as always, guys, until next time, KB out.